Hello everybody, Gemini and Cross Watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Welcome to Natural Healing Tarot. My name is Nina. I am the reader here on the channel. I just thought I'd start introducing myself since I'm going to be around for a while. Today we are going to take a look at your week ahead tarot reading for the date of November 17th through the 23rd. I'm going to do things a little bit different this week. I'm going to um, pull cards for each of the days of the week as well as for the overall energy. So let's just see how this goes, Gemini. If you would like to get entered into the drawing that I do every month for a free personal reading, all you have to do to get entered is subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, like the video that resonates, and comment your astrological sign below. Also, for information on how to contact me for personal readings, for business inquiries, all that information is in the description box. So let's get started here, Gemini. Most important message spirit for Gemini for the week, November 17th through the 23rd. Manifestation. Hmm. Intuition, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's take the one from the bottom. Building blocks. Well, Gemini, Gemini is cross watchers. The energy that I'm picking up here is one of intuition, manifestation, abundance, I feel like you're in the beginning phases of creating something that's about to bring abundance into your life because co-creation symbolizes manifesting abundance. Um, I feel like you are being divinely guided through this. I also, one thing I want to point out is the owl in both of these cards. The owl represents wisdom. Okay. Um, I feel like this may surround tapping into higher consciousness or some sort of wisdom. Um, so let's see what we can see with the tarot for you, Gemini. We're going to I'm going to use this first deck. We're going to look at the overview. We're going to pull four cards from this deck. We're going to look at the overview for the week. Um, what is working for you? What's not working so well? And the outcome for the week. And then I'm going to pull out a different deck and we're going to go into each day of the week. So let's get some cards out here for Gemini for the week of November 17th through the 23rd Spirit. What do they need to see about this abundance coming in? <clears throat> the first two cards out are the King and Queen of Swords. This is definitely air energy. Um, I feel like this is representing a soulmate connection. This is rep representing um, a unity, a spiritual union. I feel like this is in the beginning phases, but this is definitely something that you wanted to um, What's not working for you though, Gemini, is you don't really have a plan. 
you haven't really you haven't really planned this I'm gonna take these two cards as the first because those came out right one on top of the other what's working for you though is this is divinely guided this is a spiritual union okay so feel like the outcome for the week is going to be really going within introspecting um and i know gemini's have been in this introspection phase for a while they've been um really focusing on their healing self-discovery um process I do get the sense that this is a person who you may have had a past with um, because we have the Seven of Swords on the bottom. And I also feel like in the past, this may have been an energy that was very destructive, very um, one-sided. I also feel like this has, there has been delays within this situation. You guys may not have been talking for whatever reason. But there is about to be communication. There's about to be some communication in this. So let's get this other deck out here and let's look at each day of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then the weekend. One thing I feel um, I'm hearing right now is focusing on yourself, Gemini, focusing on um, what it is that you truly want, how you envision your partnership being, um, the outcome. Don't, don't focus on a soulmate connection, on a twin flame connection, even though those are, I believe, are very real things. Those partnerships are brought into our lives only for us to learn something about ourselves. So on Monday, we have the Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Now let's take a look at Tuesday. Tuesday Spirit for Gemini. Wednesday. I feel like there's going to be some type of celebration. I also feel like there's something that you've been putting work in, some type of business venture, some type of um, something that's very business oriented, work related. And this is going to start paying off. On Thursday, there's going to need to be a decision made. Feel like there may be a message that comes in on Thursday. Where you're going to have to make a decision. I do feel like the balance this week is going to come from this work. 
um, focusing on this opportunity, focusing on this work-related venture. I do get the sense that there is still some work that needs to be put in, but it's going to, um, this may be what you're working on, this abundance. I feel like the love connection stuff was very unexpected for me. I did not expect that to come up. So for the weekend, Gemini, A water sign may be coming in with a message for the weekend, next weekend, 22nd, 23rd, and I will get some, you know, I do my weekend guidance thing, but I feel like when this person comes back, you're going to have your guard up. Um, you're going to be very indecisive in this energy. Right? Your solace is going to come from this, this new business opportunity, this new work opportunity. Now, I, f I want to say this is self-employment, um, either 1099, a 1099 gig, or um, business, maybe working from home remotely, but it's something where you have more control over what it what it is that you work on what it is that you put your time and energy into Beginning of the week starts out very strong, right? Towards the weekend, I feel like the majority of the week is focusing on your work, focusing on um, whatever you've been putting your time. Maybe this is a side hustle that you're hoping pans out to something bigger. Focusing on this business venture, this business plan, I feel like you're in the beginning phases of that feel like, um, Gemini, it's okay to put, if it's not bringing in positivity, if it's not bringing you what you expect, if it's not aligning with what you want out of a partnership, it's okay to express that to this person. Like, you're not the partner that I envision myself with. I need somebody who's more helpful. I need somebody who's um, more communicative. Hmm? I feel like your guard is up because of this past situation. This, this person that's coming back in may be what this was talking about. So I'm going to pull some psychic tarot out here. We'll just lay them right over the top. Actually, here, let's make some room. Making some room for... Sorry, guys. This is all... This one is um, a little bit newer spread that I created just for the channel to kind of try to dig a little bit deeper. Stand your ground, but understand that there are some um, parts that you played within the outcome of the situation. Having your guard up isn't helping the situation, so I feel like getting clear on what it is that you truly want. And I don't feel like focusing on what it is that you truly want out of this person. I feel like 
focusing on what it is that you want out of life, out of for yourself, and getting crystal clear on that message so you can communicate that to whoever, this person or whoever else comes along. It's what you want with your life. So you sh gotta, you gotta decide. I feel like you're coming to this understanding. This is three major arcana out of this deck, okay? Um, this is the death card, just breathe. It symbolizes a transformation, a death of ego, basically. I feel like these two go hand in hand, right? This change of perspective is kind of, comes from this transformation, this death of ego. feel like your old, the old things that you used to do, the old habits you used to have, the old ways that you used to be in relationships, those are all, all those layers are peeling off of you this year, Gemini. And you're really, really finding out who you truly are and what you truly want. And Geminis are so airy. Sometimes it can be hard to focus. Don't be afraid to write it out. It's like, you know how they say the 60 second commercial for um, if you're getting a job or if you have a business event, a business plan that you're trying to get promoted, you have, they say a 60 second commercial where you are able to if you're in a situation where you want, you're able to talk about your business or talk about yourself, you want to be able to present that to people. That's what Gemini, the Geminis that are coming out through this energy, that's what needs to be focused this week is your 60 second commercial. We'll call it that. Okay. So get really crystal clear gems on what it is that you truly want this week and be able to communicate that in 60 seconds. So that means prioritizing, right? What's most important to you to what's not so important? What are your expectations? What won't you accept? What are you okay with? And then being able to express that. Big week, big year, but we're coming into 2020, into a new decade. So it's been a long time coming, but I feel like the 60 second commercial is going to help when this person comes back. Maybe get a 60 second commercial for your outlook on relationships. That way you can at least make sure that your expectations match. So Gemini, recap. Focus for this week is going to be getting clear on what it is that Gemini wants out of love, out of career, out of relationship, and creating that 60 second commercial around that to be able to communicate that to others. So Gemini, that is the message that I have for you guys for this week. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Let me know in the comment section if you guys enjoyed this spread or if you want me to go back to the other one. Thank you guys again and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.